Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I really want to talk about should you buy NEO and pretty much why I am buying more of it. So I hope you guys enjoy it and overall I hope you guys learn something. And if you guys get anything in value, hit the like button and, and subscribe to the channel. Guys, we do have a course and you guys can learn how to properly invest in the market. You guys can learn how to use fundamental technical analysis, how to find undervalued stock, dividends, REITs, everything. And don't forget to use promo code DIVIDENDS to get 50% off. So now let's talk about NEO. So for those of you that don't know what NEO is, NEO is a electric car manufacturer based out of China. The company is growing at a very, very rapid rate. And with the growth of the company, the stock value really went from around uh, $1.20 all the way up to highs here at around $66.99. Now, a lot of investors really love NEO because they are pretty much compared to the Tesla of China. Their cars are phenomenal. They pretty much have like a Alexa in the car. It's all really, really cool stuff. But looking at the chart here, you guys can see it does have some old resistance at 55, some more resistance at 66. And the reason why I'm buying some guys is because from the highs, this stock has sold off around 43% of value. So a uneducated or a beginner investor would get fearful or scared that NEO is going to crash and burn. But an educated investor realizes that why would you buy NEO when it's at 66 or you know in this zone right here? You might as well wait for a fall all the way back down to about 30 to 35 dollars so that's what i'm doing i'm pretty much buying on a discount i've been buying neo all the way back you know at three dollars then 11 a little bit at around 22 now a little bit at 37 i'm using neo's volatility to my advantage that's the biggest thing so not to mention there's some some more support here at around it looks like the $30 mark. I'll kind of draw that out for you so you guys can see. So this old support here at around 30. So I know that this stock is going to get a lot of buying pressure at 30 and some more here at around 34. So with it being at 37, I'm pretty much going to buy it, hold it for the next two to three years and see where the stock value is. You know, just by looking at the fundamentals of NEO, the only thing that does concern me is the price to earnings is pretty high. And a lot of people love to put fearful you know, information out there about the price to earnings or a company being overvalued or stuff like that. And I get what, I kind of get where they're coming from, but the way I look at it is when Amazon was trading for 700 bucks, they had a price to earnings at $3,200. And a lot of people, almost everybody was saying Amazon's overvalued, it's overvalued, but looking back, you'd have been foolish not to buy it. I have a very similar mindset with a lot of growth stocks, you know, Neo, Tesla, a little bit of AMD, a lot of those stocks guys that are really sought after have phenomenal products, but uh, the stock is growing at a rapid rate. So really, I'm going to be using Neo's volatility, using the sell-off to my advantage, not to mention the fundamentals are, are fantastic. You know, they have increasing revenue, increasing deliveries. They have pretty decent margin. Uh, not to mention they have very, very little long-term debt and quite a bit of cash on hand, which is phenomenal. Obviously, the company does not pay a dividend, but that's common. A lot of companies don't. You know, Tesla doesn't. Amazon doesn't. Google doesn't. A lot of companies don't because they use that money, reinvest it into the business, and grow it that way. So that's pretty much what's going on with NEO, my mindset on it. You know, I really think another phenomenal strategy for NEO so you don't have to try to time the market would be dollar cost averaging. So pretty much figure out how, however much you want to invest. So if let's say you want to invest a grand total of $1,000 into NEO, instead of putting up, you know, $1,000 all up front, because you could have put $1,000 all, up, you know, at 60 or 50 and you'd have lost money now. So what you do is you invest, you know, 100 bucks a week over the next 10 weeks, or you can even do it uh, once a month for the next 10 months. So you still invest that $1,000, but you spread it out into different payments. So it gets a good average price for that time period. So the beauty is, is when the stock's going up, okay, you still make money because the stock value is going up. But when it falls down like it did in here, 
and just like it did in here, you're gonna go ahead and average in your position so you can make a lot more money in the long term and get a better average price, guys. So that's kind of my strategy, pretty much why I bought Neo. I'm really excited to see where this company goes in the next you know, three to five years. I think it's all looking up right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And overall, I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys got something of value out of this video. So we'll see you later. Don't forget to check out my course and Remember to stay happy, stay positive, guys, and stay safe out there. Take care.